So, you just bought yourself a copy of Elite Dangerous or got into the pre FL gameplay of Star Citizen and you were really getting into the immersive feel the games have. Wow, this is looking really good. This is so detailed. I'm so immersed in this world. It's amazing. <coughs> Aegis combat system activated. Systems green. Begin scan. It's not exactly like flying a spaceship. The developers of Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen are putting a ton of work and attention to detail into things like ships and their game universes and so naturally people want to take advantage of all that extra detail and immerse themselves in the game worlds as much as possible enter the joystick oh i'm sorry otis these things have come a long way since their inception and first deployment towards video games and today i am going to be taking a look at the latest offering from cytec the x55 rhino so to start off, you get a pretty good looking package in the aesthetics department. The black finish is a big step up over the old X-52, which definitely looks like a toy when sitting on your desk. The soft touch coating of the plastic is a nice, well, touch to give the controls a more quality feel without actually improving the quality at all. My unit actually had a small little area where the plastic coating was starting to peel away so I guess that means that it was good enough for SciTech QC? I don't know. Oh, and before you shout at me in the comments, yes, I did clean my unit before filming it, so no, it's not dead skin. Gross. The joystick unit has a large number of buttons covering it, as well as three D-pad hats, so you should be more than covered for weapon mapping. Quality-wise, they vary. The hats and missile buttons all feel great, and the primary trigger gets the job done, although I would have preferred more feedback from it, as the internal switch right now is essentially what you have in a mouse. Then we have the thumb and pinky buttons, which in my opinion are really subpar. There's pretty much no movement in the buttons, and the pinky trigger thing feels like it could snap off at any moment during a dogfight. The interchangeable springs are a nice added feature to change the weight of the resistance the stick has. Whether you prefer stiff springs for flight sims or light resistance for that quick space movement, you have plenty of options for customization. You can even use nothing at all for that ultimate space twitch movement action. The throttle unit is where the X55 really shines. You've probably already seen the biggest feature for it, it's buttons, like millions of them. Probably more buttons than you'll ever need to use in a space sim, or any sim, or any game, ever. But if you want to turn off the lights to C-Deck and only C-Deck in your Anvil Aerospace Carrick, there's a button for that. In addition to the multitude of two-way toggle switches, you have a couple of rotaries, multiple D-pad hats again in case the three on your joystick unit just wasn't enough, a couple regular push buttons, a two-way push button, and an endless rotary dial. And if that just wasn't enough, there's a three-way mode switch that you can use. The actual throttle on the unit is great. 
It's covered in that quality not quality soft touch plastic coating and has super smooth movement. For multi-engine craft, you can unlock the throttle for independent control of your thrust. And last but not least, you have a dial that allows you to adjust the tension on the throttle. But this is where the problems start to show themselves. Now personally, I use the least amount of tension possible. That's just what I prefer. But if you want to have about more than half tension, mm, strap that throttle down, son, because you're in for a wild ride. There just isn't enough weight in the unit to hold it down to your desk when you use more tension, so most of the time you'll find yourself picking it up. You can get around it using the right hand leverage, but that's not an ideal solution to the problem. And this leads me to the biggest gripe I have with the X55. Hear that? Yeah, I thought so. It's all hollow in there. SciTech is aiming the X55 at a crowd who wants more than a toy, but maybe doesn't want to go all out on full metal warthog replica goodness. While the controls of the X55 feel nice in the hand because of the smooth movement and the quality not quality soft touch plastic coating, you do get a feeling that it could be better. Really I think the problem could be solved by just using a metal base and then building the plastic out from on top of that. And if they wanted to be super cheap they could just put four pieces of dead weight in each corner to give it a little bit more weight. That might help too. The software is adequate and there's really nothing that special about it. Some people report bugs and issues using it, however, I haven't had problems with it during gameplay and I've had very few issues with it outside of a game environment. With the exception of my PC refusing to boot into Windows sometimes when I leave the units plugged in, I mean, what's that about? Luckily for me, my PC sits on my desk so it's easily accessible and not a pain to unplug them when I happen to have that problem, but your mileage may vary. As for the software bugs, since I really haven't had any, I can't really review them. So all I'll say is make sure to do a little bit of research if you're thinking about buying this unit. Despite the problems, I think the X55 joystick, oh excuse me, HOTAS, is a solid offering for people looking for something more than a basic joystick, but don't want to go all out and spend a small fortune on something like the Thrustmaster Warthog. It's a solid mid-range offering that despite a few problems, I don't regret buying. And that's not because it's one of the only mid-range products available. So this is normally the point in reviews where you're supposed to give it a score, but I generally think scores are kind of stupid, but the internet kind of loves them. So I've come up with a pretty good compromise that I think everyone will be happy with. I give Cytex X55 Hotus, VBA's B plus out of five. Hooray! So now if you'll excuse me, I'm going back into the beautiful world of immersive space games. Oh man, it looks so cool. Pew pew pew. Pew 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 pew. pew. I'm gonna die! Hey, thanks for checking out my first product review. If you enjoyed what you saw, maybe consider clicking that like button and sharing the video with people who also might be interested. Or, if you thought it sucked, go ahead and click that dislike button and tell me why in the comments. I promise I can take it. There's plenty more where this came from, so if you're interested, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all of my latest videos. And check me out on all them social media sites. I use them sometimes.